This is Grezas Barn Dairy Farm, a farm with nearly 90 lactating cows producing about 75,000 liters of milk per month and nearly 39,000 US dollars in revenue. Here, technology and tradition converge to create something extraordinary. It is home to a herd of 270 pedigree cows, each one a testament to the power of precision. To grow the herd, you are supposed to invest in breeding and also in feeding. So for us, every cow is supposed to give us a calf each year and the semens we use, the are imported semens. We import semens from Canada, USA and also Israel. The secret isn't just in the numbers, it is in the details. These farmers are treating their cows like elite athletes, carefully monitoring every single thing they eat. There are other areas they also look at, um, but you find like nutrition texts like the order of the day. Uh, what I mean is that if you look at, um, uh, for example, the cost of producing a liter of milk currently, feed cost only uh, takes the bigger portion almost like 60 to 70 percent of the entire cost. Uh, so you find this is something very uh, important for this particular farmer. The precision continues beyond the feeding trough. Detailed digital records track every key moment in a cow's life from birth and winning to insemination and milk output. This data-driven approach ensures every cow is a productive member of the herd. And the future of the farm is secured from day one. Calves are given a strong start, fed milk for 90 days to build a robust foundation. When she's still on milk, we usually introduce her to solid feeds. That is on the second week after birth. And we win them when they are three months old, when they have doubled their birth weight. With gender-selected semen imported from abroad, the farm can ensure a steady stream of female calves. Gender-selected semen is a technology they use. Uh, we don't do it here. Uh, we buy it when it's selected the way it is. It's sorted. They usually sort the chromosomes that exact X and Y chromosome. The only disadvantage with gender-selected semen, the conception late with the older animals, it might be lower. And the common known is the, the conventional method, where the cow can either um, calf uh, down to a female calf or a bull calf. So it's like a 50-50 chance. For a dairy farmer, their biggest hope is to have a female calf because this is the future cow. But in the case of male calves, they are fattened for meat, creating another revenue stream. This level of meticulous care is what makes the final product so special. These Holstein cows are ready to go when it is milking time. They literally run to the machines. Twice a day at 3 a.m and 3 p.m. they are milked by computerized machines. This technology ensures speed, efficiency, and a comfortable experience for every animal. A key part of this process is that any cow that can't produce the desired amount of milk is culled. For our lactating animals, when she calves down, she's supposed to peak with 30 liters. If she does not get to that liters, we usually cull them, and now we have laid our bar a bit high. The milk is immediately cooled to a precise 3 degrees Celsius, preserving its quality. But what truly makes this farm a model for the future is its commitment to sustainability. Nothing here goes to waste. The tons of manure produced each day are collected. Some are sold to nearby crop farms, while the rest are channeled into a burger's digester. This process generates clean energy, powering the entire farm and turning waste into a valuable resource.